Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up today we're doing a full-on foundation review for you guys not a first impressions not a wear test or anything like that just a full-on review talking about this foundation because I have had this foundation for the last two weeks and I've been testing it out for the last two weeks so I'm excited to talk about it with you guys I'm excited to share my thoughts I also included a demo of how I apply the foundation and then how it looks on the skin after it has set before I do concealer and everything else and then you can obviously see the finished product on my face right now so we're gonna talk about it and if you guys are interested in that then just keep on watching all right you guys so the foundation that I'm talking about is from the brand Il Maquillage and this was a brand that I wasn't really checking for I wasn't really you know interested in trying their products mainly because I really didn't know about them but basically I was scrolling on Facebook one day and then I guess Facebook knew that I needed a new foundation I didn't really need a new foundation but they told me I needed a new foundation so it's what it is um, but they had an ad for this brand and their foundation and I just happened to look at the video that they had and it was some youtubers trying on the foundation and it color matched so well to their skin I was like this is too good to be true but the color match to their skin was so good and the foundation looked flawless on them it just looked really good overall and I was like what damn foundation is this what brand is this and so I looked into it and it was Il Maquillage and the only reason why I know of this brand is because of the Carly Bible collaboration that they had but just from the videos and from the girls trying it on I was like this foundation actually looks bomb and it actually looks like something that I would be interested in especially because I've really been into complexion products lately I don't know what it is but I really have been into complexion products so I looked into it and I found out that you can actually test out and try this foundation for 14 days a full bottle of it for 14 days for only five dollars which is the cost of shipping and handling yo what I was like excuse me too good to be true no it's not too good to be true it's not a scam anything like that it's 100% legit so they sent me the foundation they sent me this box it actually took about four days to come so they sent the box out and packaging is everything first of all this is how the foundation comes in this little packaging and this box yo this is fancy this is some fancy ass shit so you just take off the top of the box and then the foundation is sitting there in its little holder just like hey i'm fancy boo what up this is so cute so like i said they sent you a full size foundation to try out in your home for 14 days for five dollars and then after 14 days if you don't like it you can send it back no questions asked or if you do like it and decide to keep it then they go ahead and charge your card for the full amount of the foundation which this is not an expensive foundation it's a it's about mid-range it's 44 dollars, which isn't too bad it's about mid-range you know what i'm saying so this is the i woke up like this foundation and i have the shade 195 first of all First of all, they color match you online. You basically take this little quiz and they ask you about your foundation um, preferences, what you know how you have wrong with your skin, I believe. And then they also ask you, you know, your skin tone and undertone and things like that. So I basically told them that my skin was oily and I like my foundations to be more of a natural matte finish. I like for my skin to look like skin, but I am oily, so I do like a more matte foundation. And then I said that I was of the dark, not deep complexion, but dark complexion, and I have more of a yellow undertone, sometimes neutral during the summertime, but more so a yellow undertone because when I get darker during the summer, I feel like neutral is best for me. But when I'm light, during the winter time i feel like yellow is definitely me so i went with the yellow tone foundation since we are still in winter time and you guys this shade match is unbelievable i know i have on my highlight and everything right now but this shade match is crazy this shade match is so dope that's one thing i can't get over the fact that they were able to match me so well online is crazy like this is really crazy like i said i've been testing out this foundation for the past 
few days. I didn't wear it all 12 days. I think it's been about 12 days. So they're going to charge my card in two days for this foundation because I'm not sending it back. Y'all Y'all should already know I love this foundation. I'm not sending it back. But um, I've been trying it on and off for the past 12 days. I've worn it to work. I've worn it going out with my kids. And then I've just worn it on days where I'm just chilling or filming like this. And I have been really enjoying this foundation. I feel like every time I wear it, my skin looks really, really flawless. It plays well with my primers and my powders and my setting sprays. Everything that I put on top of it sits really nicely. And the crazy thing about this foundation is today I completely forgot to blur my pores. So so today I went ahead and used my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer because this is a primer that I know is going to make my foundations look skin-like, flawless, just really beautiful. But I also like to pair it with my Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer since this is more of a silicone type of primer and it really fills in my pores and blurs my skin. I forgot to use this today and I still feel like my skin looks just as blurred and just as poreless as it would had I used that. So that means that this foundation is really really doing a good job of not settling into my pores but just gliding over my skin and really sitting nicely on my skin so that's what I really like about this foundation I would say that this is more of a lighter medium coverage foundation I don't think it's completely medium but this is definitely a buildable foundation I have no issues with going over it with a second layer I actually didn't use a second layer today I just went straight in with two pumps of this foundation and I applied it to my face using a sponge and it just gives a natural skin like finish like you just woke up like this like it says but again I have built it up to where you can get more of a fuller type of coverage I just don't necessarily need full coverage so I never try to build my foundations up to be full coverage I have applied this foundation with a brush and it does not look streaky and it definitely gives more coverage than with a sponge but I just like applying my foundations with sponges better just because that's my thing but this foundation definitely sits nicely on the skin it definitely wears well this foundation does not claim to be super oil controlling and it does not claim to be super matte I do have minimal shine breakthrough at around like the six hour mark but that's six freaking hours that I'm wearing this foundation and it still looks good I haven't had any issues with it breaking apart I haven't had any issues with it settling into my pores or settling into creases and I haven't had any issues with it breaking up around my nose which we all know a lot of foundations love to cake up right there on the side of the nose I've only had a couple of foundations that did not do that for me and this is one of them and I think it's because it's such a lighter coverage that it doesn't sink into to those little areas it's not a super liquidy foundation I feel like when you pump it out onto the back of your hand it does have just a little bit of thickness to it it's not super super liquidy but it's also not super duper just runny I feel like it has a little bit of give time I have some foundations that as soon as you put it on the back of your hand it's super runny like the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation when you shake this bottle up you see how you can hear that liquid so when you pump it on the back of your hand it runs really really fast which y'all know that's one of my favorite foundations so I'm not like talking shit about it because that's one of my favorite foundations but I feel like with this one it doesn't run as much as that one it's not as liquidy it has a little bit more thickness to it so I just feel like it has a nice medium and that's exactly how I feel about the finish of it I feel like it has a nice medium to it it's not super duper matte on my skin, I wouldn't mind because I'm oily, but it's not super matte and it's not at all dewy. It really is a natural finish and I honestly feel like you can tailor this to be more of what you want. This is what my skin is looking like. I'm actually super highlighted. Today, I did a full-on glam makeup look, but this is what my skin is looking like, and I am going to give you guys a close-up. I finished my makeup over an hour ago, so no, it hasn't been on my skin that long, but like I said, I would wear this foundation for six hours and get minimal shine in my T-zone and everything, so I'm going to zoom you guys in, kind of turn my lights down so you can actually see what this foundation is looking like without all the brightness. So I turned my lights down, and this is a little bit more accurate of what my skin is looking like right now so yeah it's a really nice natural finish type of foundation a natural matte finish as you guys can see my pores aren't super blurred out because again like I said I forgot to use my pore blurring primer but my skin just looks like skin it looks 
really flawless just flawless i don't know how else to say it i just really really like this foundation it is definitely one of my new favorites i definitely think it's worth the 44 dollars. i don't mind them charging my card in the next few days for this foundation because i will be keeping it in my collection i will be using it a lot more if you guys have been watching my videos then you would see when i list my makeup in the description box i have worn this in a couple of my videos and i really like this foundation just overall i really like this foundation and i would definitely recommend it to you guys so that is it that is all i have for you guys um if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you like this video if you are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you are notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace